Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com, and I finally got my pair of Columbia 11s. I know that they're called Legend Blue, but they're really the Columbias. Don't let the name fool you. Every OG head knows what these guys are right here, and it's the Columbia 11. Now, by now, you guys have probably seen more than your fair share of videos or reviews on these guys, so I'm not going to go over really much of anything. I'm just going to show them from a performance perspective for anybody curious. Uh, the 11 is one of those models that are completely playable on court um i know that for some like some like the kids and stuff they're like oh my gosh you can't play in a pair of 11s they're 11s well they're basketball shoes and that's what they are so you can play in them so let's just go ahead and get right into it all right guys so first things first here's just a quick look these have probably the cleanest jump man that i've seen on a pair of 11s uh, probably ever um, they usually have like a little butt crack on them and stuff and these guys just don't have that So here is everything. I do remember seeing these guys in Portland um, Back when I went over the summer and they were just kind of sitting there on a shelf just posted kind of just like that right there and And when I walked by them my first thought was like oh man those must be prototypes because uh, the, the, the blue bottom right here was like really like kind of chlorine looking it was like almost like it has like a greenish tint to it and then the things come out and I guess it wasn't the prototype that's just how they are on the video they look blue but in person they have like a weird weird kind of tint to them um, it doesn't look quite like they used to like the originals um, but the originals and the retro from 2001 did have slight blue tints to the outsoles um, these guys just kind of like turn things up a few notches as far as tech specs go this particular pair has a leather upper uh, I don't think that this is a real leather actually with the patent you can actually see the leather grain underneath it even though it is thin and same thing with the heel leather where you could see the grain but then these guys that just kind of like fold in right here this is normally where you'd see that cut and uh, the, it also feels like much softer to the touch um, it feels nice it doesn't feel like horrible or anything but it definitely has a different feel than this heel portion uh, at least in my opinion so I believe that this might be synthetic and then this is a uh, split grain but anyways these guys have a leather upper with the patent leather so these guys are gonna have much more support than say these guys where most of the 11 just have this kind of ballistic mesh upper. And then you have the nylon lacing system. This is actually a speed lacing system. So this is a quick, you know, pull through and you're good. And you have patent leather overlays. This is for some additional support upon lateral movements. File on midsole with full length air unit inside. The rubber outsole with your herringbone traction pods. And then you also have that carbon fiber shank. Uh, this was a spring plate. And that is literally it. Um, it's not, you know, anything crazy. Uh, this classic build classic construction as far as shoes are concerned um, tech specs are usually pretty much on point with today's stuff so um, like I said like the herringbone carbon fiber um, the file on midsole and the uh, full length air unit and that's all stuff that we use today still uh, so you get that all in a really nice looking package um, you know something a little bit more classic I did grab these over at uh, my friends over at Soul Supremacy uh, very big thank you to them you know, they were like my my backup plan to my backup plan because both of my initial uh, places where I was going to get these, uh, they just each one of them fell through like pretty much one after another, uh, right on like release time, which was a big bummer. But you know, it is where it is. It happens. I'm just glad I got a pair, and um, this completes my set of OG 11 colorways. As far as the mids go, I'm missing one. I'm missing the the low top. Uh, OG colorway the IE the ones that are all white with the cobalt blue and then the gray uh, Elephant print on top. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support and hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look from a performance perspective uh, I did do a performance review on these guys a while back not this particular colorway, but the uh, uh, The Concords and like I said still valid still a good performance shoe in my opinion and um, Yeah, that pretty much is it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support and until next time guys have a good one.